staff, questions and comments. The Honourable Member for Calgary Centre. Thank you, Madam. Yeah. It's a great speech. I think I've heard that speech in so many other debates of this House. It's a canned speech, and I really appreciate hearing it again, at least the last two-thirds of it, because, you know, it's, uh, I didn't sink in the first hundred times I heard it in this House, Madam Speaker. However, I will concentrate on what this debate is about, which was the tech frontier mine. And I know you mentioned it a little bit at the front of your speech, the Honourable Member did, Madam Speaker. And I will address some of the things you said about it, especially its viability. Uh, he drifted off into all things about climate change, but he has to recognize, I'm going to ask him about the 10-year process and the $1 billion spent by tech in getting to this stage. And the joint provincial federal body that actually looked at this assessment and said, yes, you pass all the, all the benchmarks on this, plus you're involving 14 Indigenous bands, all 14 Indigenous bands, and they've all signed off on it. So these things met all the social and environmental uh, guidelines that were required of any development in Canada. Therefore, I'd like to know what the quid pro quo was for tech to back away in the last five days. Now, tech is a mining company. Can we talk about the commitment from this government that they won't be getting a billion dollars back from some rebate on their carbon tax going forward? If the, if the member can commit to that, I'd like to hear it. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I want to thank my honourable member for his question. I, I have to say that uh, I, I have only praise for Tech the Mine. I, I feel that they have done uh, their work, and they have decided, after doing all their analysis, that it was not feasible at this time. But the message they sent is much stronger than that. The message they sent, oh, I'll, I'll read that. The message they sent is to all Canadians. It's to all Canadians that we have to work together for climate change. They are taking it seriously. They understand. And when you, a member opposite uh, a little while back said that they had decided that, that it was still feasible, it is not the truth. Look at paragraph two. Look at paragraph two. It says, since the original application in 2011, we have, as others in the industries have done, continued to optimize the project for further for to further confirm its viability, optimize, looking, we'll continue to monitor. But we know as it is today, we are not, it's not feasible, and that's why they walked away. But please, do not forget, Madam Speaker, that the message is clear that we Another have to question. work together on climate change. And I praise them for that.